Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to make this cute rainbow mermaid cake topper. Here's what you're going to need if you want to screenshot it now or you can find the products in the description bar down below. So to start out we're just going to take whatever colour you need or whatever colours you choose and roll them out into skinny sausage shapes. and set all your skinny sausages together in a row on your board. Once you have all your skinny sausages in a row, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just squeezing, pulling, squashing, squishing, just until you get whatever colour consistency you want. And if you find the dark colours are maybe overtaking the bright colours, just peel off some layers to expose the brighter colours which is what I had to do. And then you're going to roll it out into the shape that the tail is going to make, the mermaid tail. Which is going to be thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom so you're going to apply more pressure on the bottom part of your fondant. And then just hold it up against your board, make sure it's going to fit, make sure it's not too big, not too small. Play about with it until you get it the way you want it. I actually trimmed a bit off the top as it was going to sit too high. So. Sometimes you have to do that. Once you're happy with it, then we can get to work with getting it ready to put the body on. So I just take my ball tool and create an indentation in the top. This just makes the, the torso sit neater on the topper. Then we're going to take this little tool and create some scales. Time for the fins, I think they're called fins. It's the bottom part of the tail. Anyway, just take a leaf cutter, take a bit of your, if you did trim it, if you did trim your tail, just take a bit of your marbled fondant that's left over or just, you know, make a bit and cut out two leaf shapes. Again, just measure them up against the tail, make sure they're, they're gonna fit okay and then take your knife tool and put in some indentations on them. And once you're happy with how they look, then stick them on. Now we're just going to get a wooden skewer and pop it down the middle just so we can have a, a firm structure. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so bad at this but you know what I mean. So this is just something for the body, the torso to sit on and the head to sit on at the end. So now we're going to do the torso, flesh coloured fondant and play about with it just to get it to the right shape. 
to your shoulders, your neck, and have it where it's coming down more narrow at the bottom. Then I'm just going to take another scare and put it up the middle. Just I find it easier rather than setting it straight on the skewer that's on the cake. Sometimes it can change the shape of the torso and it can get finger marks or squashed. I find it easier if I make a hole in it, then I can just pop my glue on and it just slides on, no problem. See what I mean? So I thought it looked a bit bulky and this is where you can just trim it and shape the topper to whatever way you want. Sometimes whenever you put the body on, you know, the tail might look a bit bigger or... So it's just a matter of working with it until you get it how you want it. Then I'm going to trim off this top part just so I've got a little area to put on a nice little pink trim. To make the trim, I'm just going to take a frilling tool, you can use a flower cutter, anything that you have, or you can just have a plain trim. Or you can have no trim, but I think it looks, it just brings out some nice colour if you have a trim on it. And just stick that on. Don't forget your belly button. Now for the head. This cake topper, it doesn't look really big in the camera here, but it was quite big. And it was a child, it was modeled on my friend's little girl who's six. So sometimes I think a bigger head, it can look more cartoonish and childlike. So because I went for a bigger head, I wanted to support it well. So. Uh, you just get one of the polystyrene balls, put it in the middle of your fondant and then shape your fondant around it. Put a hole in it so you'll be able to slide it on. And then you can trim that excess off the back. And you can see that the shape of the face I've put an indentation across the top with my finger and that's just so the eyes have you know it's not just a flat surface big round eyes and a tiny button nose for the lips. This is just a tiny piece of fondant put on and then I don't shape it before I stick it on. I just put it on and then get to work shaping it. A white fondant for the eyes. And some eyelashes. Don't forget your eyebrows. or blue or green whatever color you want to do your eyes and she's starting to come to life
adding a little bit of colour onto the cheeks, onto the face and then my friend's little girl, she's got really really pink baby cheeks so that's why she's got loads of blusher <laughs> These make all the difference I think in a cake topper. This is where you're going to put the catch lights in. Just, you know, if you look at a person in a photograph, they're always going to have little parts where the light is reflected in their eyes and I just think these bring eyes to life. And now for the bra. Two small pieces of fondant rolled into a cone shape and just use your knife tool to make a shell indentation. Just make sure they're going to fit and stick them on. And then you're going to make a little hole in the middle for a pink pearl or whatever colour you want to go for. bit of dusky pink for the lips and then we're going to stick the head on. Now for the hair. I find it's easier to roll out if you're doing curly hair like Lucy's hair is really curly so I find it easier to roll out maybe five or six pieces, curl them, leave them sitting for a couple of minutes just so they've time to dry and take shape before you stick them on. And I only realised at the end of this video that my battery died so you didn't see me making the arms. I promise she did have arms in the end but um, oh, it, it didn't get me making the arms. Sorry about that guys. Now for the, the side pieces of hair, because she was a mermaid I wanted her hair to look like it was underwater, swishy, all over to the side so I got some wire, very easy to do, just florist wire, put it inside some of your rolled out pieces of hair, shape the hair whatever way you want it to fit and then just stick it on. I think it just gives such a great underwater effect. So that's it for me. I would love to see your recreations of my topper on Instagram. So be sure to tag me with my handle and hashtag. I'll have them in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe, bye!